What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Recently, you guys have been asking me for off meta teams, and I feel like I'm delivering here with this team right here. We got ourselves an off meta Ice Rider Calyrex team that features Sylveon, Hydrapple, Swampert, and Skelly Dirge. Does it get more off meta than that? I don't think so. But in a recent video, we actually showcased Skelly Dirge. So I'm not too worried about showcasing this Pokemon and using it too much. I really want to showcase Swampert and Sylveon because there's two very dope Pokemon and I like them all around. But let's get things started by talking about Sylveon over here in the top left hand corner. Sylveon's got that water terror type as a nice little defensive terror type with Pixley and the safety goggles. Rocket Baby Doll Eyes, Hyper Voice, Shadow Ball for coverage, and last but not least, it has Protect. We got High Drippy Drapple in our second slot, that's what I'd like to call it, with Regenerator and the Assault Vest as item. Just like Sylveon, it is rocking the Water Terra with Leaf Storm, Earth Power, Fickle Beam, and Giga Drain, an amazing moveset for an Assault Vest High Drapple. Catlarx is going to be our restricted Pokemon, as one clear amulet as item, Protect, Trick Room, Glacial Lance, and Close Combat, another solid moveset for this team. Swampert's going to be in our fourth slot, and I haven't used a nice little Hoenn starter in a good bit, and I love Swampert. Just such a dope Pokemon. Torrent as its ability, Leftovers as item, Poison Terror type with high horsepower protect, bulk up for that attack and defensive boost, and last but not least, we got Liquidation. Our final two Pokemon are going to be Indeedee and Skelly Dirge. Skelly Dirge got that Throat Spray, making it do some big time damage. On top of that, Indeedee is going to be our support Pokemon, being able to set up Trick Room for the rest of the squad. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. As always, if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Ice Rider Calyrex off meta team. Let's get off meta with it. We're going up against an Ursa Luna Trick Room team here in match number one. Furthermore, they got me a Rhino, which is a great Pokemon for terrain control. But we do have Indeedee to kind of counteract that Pokemon. But who are they going to lead? How are they going to get after it? I really don't mind leading a Pokemon maybe like Swampert here. Because I kind of like Swampert just because it's slow and it will be super effective onto not only Iron Hands, but Miraidon. So that could be really good for us. That could be great. And it's shiny too. Looking all purple. We like you, Swampert. So if they're forced to swap here, we can honestly just go into a, uh, a what's it called? A bulk up. So I'm going to go Swampert here. And do I go Indeedee? I could go Swampert Indeedee. I kind of want Indeedee. I kind of do want Indeedee. But I don't know if I should lead it. I want to lead either Calyrex or Indeed. I'm trying to just think about this a little bit more. I mean, they got two fake out users. We could take terrain control from there. I think we just go Indeed. You bring Calyrex in the back end. And then, and then last but not least, either Skelly Dirge or Sylveon. Now, Sylveon's pretty solid here, right? Nice fast Pokemon. Hydrippy Drapple's not bad here either. I do like the Hydrapple. It's typing really well. Typing is solid. I mean, it's got Earth Power to deal with a lot of things. Fickle Beam, it's got the Leaf Storm. Oh, man. I kind of just want to go into High Drapple here. Let's go High Drapple. Let's go High Drippy Drapple. Especially with that Assault Vest, you got a few special attackers like that Ursula, like that for a graph. And if we're popping Trick Room, most likely they're bringing them. So I like the High Drippy Drapple, but I'm more excited to be using the Swamp. I haven't used Swamp in a good bit. Swamp just a dope Pokemon. I love all the Hoenn starters, they're just one of the best starter packages. Out of all the generations one of them maybe not the top but honestly i wouldn't i wouldn't be opposed to ranking them that high in the one slot they're gonna end up going into these two which is perfect you take terrain control you can't fake me out you can go for a knockoff so i might terrestrialize my indeedy and i might just go for a bulk up here i think bulk up might be our play we do get a nice little special defense boost and yeah i think i am gonna go for bulk up here i mean you do intimidate me I think bulk up has to be your play. Yeah, we're gonna go for bulk up here. On top of that, we are going to Terrasize into Fairy, helping us up against any Dragon Shots or Dark Type moves. And we're just gonna make sure that we get off Trick Room because the squad that we're, look we're going up against right now, we, we need Trick Room. We need Trick Room. So they could end up hard swapping me right on. That would be a solid play. But if they swapped like Ursula, no, oh man, I don't like. I wouldn't like that one bit. Let's just see what they decide to do. We're hoping it's knock off and like Draco Meteor into the Indeedy slot. That would be awesome. That would be perfect. We'll hit that terror button right off the rip. The Intimidate kind of does annoy me because I want to go plus one on attack, but I'll take a nice little plus one defense boost and go back to neutral on attack, which wouldn't be bad for us. Defensive boost will help us out. So let's see, it's gonna go for a Volt Switch Pivot. I mean, that's fine. We're able to soak rather well. They're not able to fake us out. If I had to guess, you are going for knockoff in the end. Unless you're going for a parting shot, that'd be... 
that'd be tough news for us. If you go for parting shot into my Swampert. That would be tough news. Now, I think they're going to go into, like, Ursuline or something. I know, it's going to be Iron Hands. Are you going for Parting Shot? No, you're going for will o -Wisp. Oh, man, you're rocking Burns? You're rocking Burns? I really just want to bulk up here. I really just want to bulk up here. That's all I really want to do. So, we go for a bulk up here. We might as well just start throwing Liquidations, looking to get off as much damage as we possibly can. And we'll see how this one plays out here, because the Burns on my Swamp are just... Mm -mm. Not good. Not good. How much damage could you do into Incineroar? You're burned, you're neutral on attack. Let's see how this plays out. High horsepower does a little bit more damage. We are gonna go for high horsepower here into you, and I guess we'll just throw a dash and gleam, see how much damage that can do. We do got the terror boost, so I mean hopefully we can do a little chunk of damage, right? Hopefully. Honestly, Iron Hands might be rocking heavy slam, which could be tough news for us. We're just going to end up hard swapping Incineroar and going back into Miraidon. Yeah, so the terrain's out here, which isn't bad, but they can fake me out. But I got two solid moves coming across the board. I got two solid moves. This Cork Drive's going to boost, attack's going to get heightened. And he's just going to for, go for a fake out in Swampert, which is okay. That's fine. You can do that. Dazzling Gleam's going to fly here. How much damage are you doing, Dazzling Gleam? Okay. <laughs> nothing crazy, but nothing, nothing bad. I mean, Swampert with the ground typing might buy him a chance to drop a high horsepower. I think we are just going to rip another Dazzle Gleam. And then just go for high horsepower again. Yeah, we're going to go for high horsepower. We're going to go for another Dazzle Gleam. Just trying to chunk up damage onto this Miraidon. Especially in the trick room here. Yeah, they're playing this one really well. I mean, honestly, Willow is just massive. He's gonna end up hard swapping me, right? I'm thinking we're swapping. He's just gonna intimidate me. Again. All right, so my so my swapper's gonna go for a high horsepower in the slot. He's just faking out, wasting turns. Um, I could end up hard swapping in DD, which wouldn't be a bad play rather soon. Let's see, Thunder Punch is gonna fly into in DD, and we survived that, which is nice. High horsepower, we're gonna connect. Give me a crit, and we're doing minimal damage. Yeah, Swampert's really not hanging out too well, especially with the burn. That's why I kind of just wanted to die, but honestly, we're slowly doing some damage. I don't mind this damage right here. I don't mind this damage. We get some leftovers HP back. Um, burn's going to kind of negate that. And I think from here, are they going to fake out Indeedee? They might just fake out Indeedee. I'm just going to go for another high horsepower. I could swap Indeedee. I could swap a DD because terrain control could be great later and a follow me could be good later. So I am honestly just going to swap him into high drippy drapple. Fake out could pop into a DD because honestly, a DD is the one doing all the damage. A DD is really the one doing all the damage. So I go into my high drapple. We're hoping that a thunder punch is flying into the slot and it is. It's beautiful. High drippy drapple soaks that. No problem. Not a problem. But of course, you get a paralyze. Come on, man. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that. High horsepower does connect, which is good. Doing a little bit more damage onto Incineroar, and he's gonna go for a knockoff over here, and he's gonna take off my item. How dare you take off my assault vest? I really wanted that vest. So we have the Calyrex, and we have the Indeedee combo in the back end, and this the turns might actually work out perfectly for that. Our turns might work out perfectly. Honestly, we were sitting fine if, the, if this thing didn't have burn. So Trick Room has one turn. I kind of do like where we're sitting here. Um, hmm. From here, we can go high horsepower, and I might double down into... I might double down into Incineroar here. Let's be honest, what are you doing? Going for maybe like a fighting move? I think we have to double down into Incineroar here. I'm gonna do that. The Fickle Beam flies. Can Fickle Beam just KO? Leaves him on one. Why are we leaving you on one? And you got Ice Punch too. Come on, man. Why you got Ice Punch? Why do you have Ice Punch? Why do you have Ice Punch? High horsepower gonna pick up the KO, and I wonder who they're gonna go into. I think from here we just go into Calyrex, or we could go into Indeedee. Could go into Indeedee. I'm trying to think what Swamper could potentially do here. I mean, I love Ice Rider Calyrex if we can get Trick Room set up. That's the real question. Are we able to get Trick Room set up? I'm gonna go Calyrex here. They go me around. Okay, so we're gonna have to hard swap Swampert into an ED. Get rid of this terrain. Um, they could double down into my boy Ice Rider Calyx, but that's. Can we survive that? That's the real question. 
Had rod engine's gonna be boosted. Um, yeah, we hands down have to go for a swap here into Indeedy. So we're gonna take away terrain again, and we're gonna try to pop Shirker. That's the play. That's the play. So Swampert not doing too much here, but honestly, staying on the field, slowly chipping up damage. I really wish that Fickle Beam did pick up a KO. That would have been massive for us. But we still have a shot at this. I mean, Calyrex easily, if we can set up Trick Room, can win us this game. So we get rid of the terrain. We're hoping at least one of them is attacking my DD, or we're hoping we ride on kind of swaps here. That would be nice. But he's going to end up Terrasalizing, and most likely into Fairy. Hopefully it's Fairy, not Electric. Electric can do big time damage. And it's going to be Ice. Wow, a little bit of Ice action. I mean, we have close combat to deal with that, which is pretty good for us. Um, Terra Blast is going to come out here, and who are you going after? You're going after that slot. That's fine. So you're just going to take out my Indeed. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. Because I'm able to get off Trick Room here. So now that I have Trick Room. How do I play it? We got to see what uh, Iron Hand's going for first. He's going to go for a Drain Punch. Which is fine. Which is fine. I mean, it does nothing crazy. It does nothing crazy. We can bring out Swamper. Close Combat can KO. The mere ride on, but it lowers our defense, which which we don't like, which we definitely don't like. They could swap the mere ride on just to get electric train back, maybe waste out a turn. But I'm back out here with Swampert. Do we know their final Pokemon? I don't think we do. We don't know. If I had to guess, it's gotta be Rock Ogre Palm with like sturdy. Oh man, what's my play here? We gotta go high horsepower here. We have to go high horsepower in that slot, and we have to go close combat in this slot. Is this even going to KO? That's the real question. I got to hope it KOs. I got to really hope it KOs. Close combat, I mean, not stab. Base 120, super effective. KO this thing, please. Let's go. Okay, so we pick up the KO there. We go minus one on both our defensive uh, stats, but we go plus one on attack. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. If we can land this high horsepower, get off some damage, a plus one Glacial Lance should be able to KO pretty much both of Pokemon. That's where I'm kind of sitting here. Drain Punch is going to find a Swampert, which we love. We love you going after Swampert. We love you going after Swampert. That's pretty big. So he's, he's going to get a little bit of HP back. I'm going to be able to land this high horsepower and bring him back down. Okay, cool. So I'm plus one here. Swampert chilling a little bit. They can't go for any first turn priority, which is massive. And we play this one real slow. So even though a burned Swampert, they burned my Swampert first turn, Swampert's getting a lot of value out of this game. Getting a lot of value. Just slow chipping up because they're just not worrying about it. There's their final Pokemon, Rock Ogre Pond. Um, I know you have Sturdy, which is kind of why I want to double down into you. And I'm going to really hope that Glacial Lance can just pick up the KO one two Iron Hands. Plus one. I like it. So we're going to go Liquidation here into the uh, the Ogre Pond slot. We're going to double down with Glacial Lance. And we're going to hope that Glacial Lance can KO the Iron Hands. This will be an awesome first match. If we can win this one, he does end up Spiky Shielded. But again, I believe Glacial Lance should pick up the KO onto Iron Hands. So that's something I'm really hoping for. And if it does, we pretty much win this game because we still have a couple turns left in Trick Room. The Glacial Lance flies, picks up the KO, no problem. And look at us, yo. We're, we're looking real good. We're looking real good. Swampert get it after it matched number one with Calyrex. Love to see it. Just what I wanted to do. UC's off meta Pokemon through their fullest potential. And even though with a burn, I would have loved Swampert not to have the burn, but it's still thriving out here. Just slow chip damage. And I believe it's, is it minus one? Or no, we eventually swapped this one. We swapped them out and swapped them back in. That was a big play too, to get that terrain out of there. We needed to do that. We need to do that. So now we're plus two. We're just going to go for Liquidation because it's 100% accurate. We're going to go for a Glacial Lance. And they finally cancel battle. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hot start for us. 1-0. Let's go hop into match number two. Moving on to our next match. And we're going up against a Karidon team that really thrives out in the sun, right? They got Incineroar, Ogre Pond, two Protosynthesis Pokemon with Raging Bolt and Fluttermane. And last but not least, they are rocking Screens Grimstone. Now, Screens, I hate them. I hate them more than any other hater of Screens would. But we're going to have to deal with them because I'm almost certain they're going to lead Crimstrawl and really try to get after me. Now, I mean, they could lead a Fake Out user, which is definitely an option. I mean, Grimstrawl could have Fake Out as well. But I think going into NTD might just be a reply. I mean, do we go NTD Swampert? I mean, he could Intimidate me, which, oh man, I don't want to really be Intimidated again. But I really want to go for Bulk Ups with Swampert. 
Skelly Dirge isn't bad for boosting special attack, especially with the Root Spray and Will-O-Wisp could come in clutch due to a lot of physical attackers. What do I do here? What is my play? I do actually like Skelly Dirge here. I'm gonna go Indeedee. I'm gonna go Skelly Dirge. I'm gonna go Calyrex and I'm gonna go Sylveon. I actually really like Skelly Dirge with the Root Spray. Cause I mean, you use one Torch Song, you get that plus one boost from Torch Song. On top of that, you get a plus one boost from Third Spray, so... I could get down for that. I could get down for that. I mean, Fluttermane is looking a tad bit scary. We do have Shadow Ball to kind of get after that. But we'll see how this one plays out. We'll see. That I mean, they could go into a fake out user, which I think they're going to do, which is why we want this terrain on the field. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what you got cooking here. Could it be Karadon? It's going to be Fluttermane and it's going to be Grimstrong. So they got that screen user, like I said. I think from here we just maybe go for follow me. We might want to go for triple moon. Just like terrestrialize skill leaders. That wouldn't be bad. Terrestrialize torch song. Trick room pop. While they set up screens, I mean we're gonna have to get off. It's gonna be our best friend. Our bestest of friends. So yeah, we're gonna go trick room here. We're gonna go into skill leaders. I think I'm just gonna terrestrialize them in the water and I'm just gonna launch torch song into Fluttermane. As much as I want to go for Shadow Ball because it's super effective, I'd rather get this plus two boost in special attack, right? It's just massive, especially when screens are on the field. We're going to need those boosts to kind of negate the screens, negating our damage. So we're going to hit that Terra button. We don't want to die out through Shadow Ball. Too much. That'd just be real ugly. So we're going to go into a nice, lovely Water Terra. Put a little fountain on my Skelly Dirge's head. I think we agreed on last time I used Skelly Dirge that this thing's an alligator, which I'm cool with. I think it's an alligator. I forget. Somebody had a good reason. I think it's like the length of its... Of its like snout, but of course they're gonna taunt me here, which is actually really good. Taunt is just a great move. I'm gonna go torch song. I'm gonna be plus two here. I did like negative six damage, but I mean this thing's pretty bulky. I think it really deals with its uh special attack boost here as well. But they had light screen, so can't trick room after taunt. That's no bueno. But I can go into a dazzling gleam now. I have Calyrex to end up trick room, and, and do I just will wisp you? You're going to Shadow Ball, but I kind of feel like you're going to start Spirit Breaking me. Maybe? No, I can't go for Follow Me. I swap in DD? Maybe into you? Throwing Dazzle Gleams could be good, though. I'm going to throw a Dazzle Gleam. I'm going to double down the Flutter Main. Let's go Dazzle Gleam. Let's double down the Flutter Main here. Stick with Torch Song just in case he wants to just start throwing Spirit Breaks around. That can get a little little annoying, right? So I'd rather just keep boosting our special attack here. Yep, there's Spirit Break. This is exactly why I want to go into Torch Song. So we're just going to slowly chip up damage here. I need to get off Trick Room. I need to get off Trick Room. nice damage right there. Critical hit, which is beautiful. I get a special attack boost. And now would be a turn to just, like, protect Skelly Dirge. Or maybe just go for a Slack off. Restore my HP. I mean, I'm pretty bulky. They might double down into me, but I like the bulkiness here. I do like the bulkiness while Dazzling Gleam hopefully finishes off this. This Flutter Mane, it honestly might not. It did like six damage last time, which is so low. Now comes another Dazzling Gleam. See how they're just able to soak. My Dazzling Gleam flies can KO them. No, of course it doesn't. We need it. And Foul Play is going to fly into Indeedee, which Indeedee soaks, which is good. So I'm able to slack off. I will go back some HP. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Back up the one. Oh, yeah. This is good for us. Okay. So, do you think he's going to taunt me again? There's a possibility. There's a possibility that you taunt me. There is a possibility you taunt me. I'm just going to I'm just gonna keep attacking here. I'll save my trick room for my Calyrex. Dazzling Gleam's going to fly, and wow, you are just going to stay with the attack. You get a crit on my Skelly Dirge, which kind of hurts soul. Dazzling Gleam's going to finish off you, and honestly, I probably could have popped trick room, but I think they're doubling down into indeed just to play it safe, so there really was no need to pop trick room here, right? Yeah, they're doubling down indeed, so pop a trick room just wouldn't have been to play. Good thing I did go for that Dazzling Gleam. All right, so now we're sitting here. We're sitting here. We don't have trick room up. My Skelly Dirge kicking it right now. We might want to save our Calyrex. I don't really know how we should play this one. I mean, we have Baby Doll Eyes with Sylveon. So I'm kind of hoping they go into physical attackers and we just like burn them up and all that. And Baby Doll Eyes them. Because they can't swap at that point. And if we can just lower their attack enough, we can 
eventually pop Trick Room with Calyrex and really get after it. So let's just see who they end up leading here. They could go for a slack off with their boy, and it's gonna be you. Okay, so. Definitely gonna have to baby dodge. Definitely gonna have to do that. It's two. Oh my god, I love to get off. You might be clear amulet. You gotta be clear amulet, Karadon, if I had to guess. So I think going for baby doll eyes is gonna be great, because this move goes first, right? This move does always go first. It's gorgeous. Is there still terrain out? Hold up. Is there terrain? There is terrain. Alright, hold up. We can't we can't do that. We're just gonna protect my still gun here. And we're gonna go for a will-o'-wisp. Into Karadon. We're going for a will o wisp in the crowd on. So we have baby doll eyes, which is really good for us. He's gonna terrasalize cried on into fire typing, just to help him out from the fairy. And I can't burn him anymore. Oh man! That's tough news for us. That's tough news for us, because we can't burn him anymore. I end up protecting the Sylvan because I want baby doll eyes for our for the Ogre Pond. I'm gonna go for a fire blitz into Sylveon. I can't terrasalize anymore, which is so ugly. Yeah, we're sitting in a terrible position now. Yeah, it's, that's pretty much game. That's pretty much game. I wish I still had Terra. I mean, Skelly Dirge was getting work done, but I just wasn't able to get off Trick Room. That Tone on Fluttermane really helped me out. The terrain's gone now. I mean, what can I really do with you? You, I, If we had Terra, we would we would actually had a hot shot at win this match, but this is just not looking good at this point because he's just going to Flutter Blitz me. We already know you're flying blitz to me, so maybe I could just do this baby doll eyes into you, and then maybe just go for protect this turn, and maybe hope that this thing's not clear amulet. But it's got to be clear amulet, right? It's got to be. I think that's our only way of winning this game, is to hope that he's clear amulet. We go for baby doll eyes. We are gonna lower physical attack. Flare blitz is actually. We could have popped trick room. We could have popped trick room here. We could have popped trick room. But I don't think we're gonna win this match. That's my only problem. We do take crazy recoil. Maybe we could have hoped that close combat was KOing. Huh. Wow, we could have popped Trick Room. And if I could have popped Trick Room that turn, I could have protected this turn. I don't think close combat's KOing. That's my only problem. Yeah. Wow, I'm really surprised he went after Sylvia, but we'll try to pop a Trick Room this turn. And he's just gonna throw a Fire Blitz. But this is what I thought was gonna happen last turn. It's really what I thought was going to happen last turn. And yeah, there's no shot we're surviving that. So GG's to our opponent. We are sitting 1-1. It's time to go hop into our third and final match and go grab you guys a winning record. So guys, we're sitting 1-1. One one. We're actually going up against a little bit of an off-meta squad. I mean, Titar, Iron Valiant, you can consider them off-meta in regulation, G. So I'm happy to actually see these Pokemon rocking out up against the team that we have today. But they also have Tornadus for Speed Control. They got me right on for Terrain Control. They do have Ferrigarap, who could pop slash counter Trick Room. It could be a Imprisoned Trick Room kind of play. But I mean, going in DD and Calyrex is honestly not bad for us. It's honestly not bad. We take terrain control. We can potentially pop trick room. I like it all around. So this is exactly what I'm gonna do here. Indeed, Calyrex, and then in the back end, I mean, they got T-Tar. We could go High Trippy Drapple to deal with that. I mean, I do like High Drapple for me ride on. I do like it for the uh, the T-Tar. If that is Water Earth Show, I do like it there too. So honestly, High Drapple coming in the back end. And last but not least, Sylveon could be great. A few physical attackers. We can always go into a Baby Doll Eyes, or we could just throw out Hyper Voices, which can also do some damage. So. I like it. I like it. But we're one and one. I would love to grab ourselves a winning record, especially using the off-meta team. Always fun when we're winning with off-meta teams, because you know, they're off-meta. You don't see them too much. When was the last time you guys seen Swampert and Sylveon? I, I, and, and Hydrapple. I mean, Skelly Dirt actually has been going around the, uh, the rental teams for a little bit now. But Hydrapple, Sylveon, and Swampert. I haven't seen them in a minute. In a minute. But well, this is actually a solid lead for us. They're going to go into Miraidon and Frigraph. We're taking terrain control right away. Now, something is telling me that this is Imprisoned Trick Room on Frigraph. Something is telling me because their team looks kind of fast, right? Their team looks rather fast. So honestly, I think just going into like a helping hand here is in our best interest and then just propping a Glacial Lance, just doing big time damage. I mean, Fervigraph could attack me maybe with like foul play. I mean, do you have foul play? I doubt it. 
And I think Miraidon is just swapping. I, I, I really don't think Miraidon wants to be here. Yeah. Miraidon definitely doesn't want to be on the field without his terrain. If I had to guess, you're probably imprisoning Trick Room. I can always close combat that. Let's let's just see what Frig Graph's doing. Let's just see what Frig is doing. We go for help in hand and we straight up attack instead of going for Trick Room. No, you're going for Hyper Boost. Okay, so next turn we will try to pop Trick Room. Next turn we will definitely try to pop Trick Room with like a follow me kind of play. Glacial Line's gonna fly. How much damage are we doing here? Especially on the Frig Graph. Oh, baby, that's some damage. That's some damage. All right. So buffets of the sandstorm fly out here. Now's a great turn time for us to just go for trick room. Everybody's taking buffets. I mean, you could go for rock slide. You could go for another hyper voice. Um. Honestly, let's just go trick room and protect Alex. I think it's a little bit better than follow me because they have a lot of double hitting moves. Hyper voice, rock slide. We have double hitting moves, and I think uh, indeed he can soak because of psychic like, seeds. And I think if you're going to attack anybody with a single hitting move, it's going to be my Calyrex. Yep, there's Rock Slide. So good call for us. No follow me. Great call for us. Great call for us. Re reading our opponent here. No flinches allowed either. There goes the Hyper Voice. And Didi, you should soak this. I'm going to be very upset if you soak it or if you get, or if, if you die or if you don't flinch. He flinches. What are you doing? Mmm, my lord. You flinch here. You flinch here. We're gonna go for follow me just in case any non double hitting move comes out here, but it, it's. It, we have to get off trick room. A flinch, man. A flinch. A flinch just turned the tides. This, this this could be a decided factor. I go for the follow me just in case. We have to go for the follow me just in case. I mean, if like Titar's going for a crunch or something, we just don't wanna take that. Yep, there it is. There it is. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted right there. So now we pretty much guarantee us getting off a trick room. That's massive. Frigraph's gonna die out to Buffett's. Terra Blast's gonna fly here. I'm soaking this no problem. No problem. No problem. Good call for us with the follow me. Beautiful call for us. So now we get off the trick room. Um, high drippy draft is not bad here. I mean, Buffett's gonna take out the Calyrex. Um. We could go back into Miraidon, or they could save it. Sylveon's not bad here. I do like I do like a good Sylveon here. I'm gonna go Sylveon. Plus, I can baby dot eyes if he throws out any physical attacker. Miraidon comes out here. All right, so let me go into that. We can Glacial Lance on top of a uh, a Hyper Voice. This could be good. We got no first turn priority either. Good news for us. Alright, so we're going to go for the Hyper Voice here. On top of that, we're going straight into the Glacial Lance. I could honestly go into close combat there, but Glacial Lance is just a way better option for us. Alright, so we got off the Trick Room. Playing it slow. He, is this in Quick Claw? Come on, Quick Claw? Quick Claw? I'm going to lose to Quick Claw? Don't, don't tell me I'm losing to Quick Claw. In Trick Room, I'm losing to Quick Claw. Oh, tell me that. Oh my lord. Quick Claw? Really? We lost a Quick Claw. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Who uses Quick Claw? Who uses that? Oh my lord. Quick Claw, we're gonna lose to. Because let's be. And they get a crit. Oh my lord. Let's be honest, Glacial Lance is doing enough damage to finish that off. This this was an easy win for us. But Quick Claw? Come on now, Quick Claw. Come on now, Quick Claw. Okay. Does Hydrippy Drapple have a shot at this? Urshfu comes out here. Is that Water Urshfu? It is Water Urshfu. I still have Terra Water. You're going for a dragon move. I know you're going for a dragon move. We gotta hope this KOs. Quick Claw? Really? 
Quick Claw? The reason we're going into Terra, I know I'd rather not try to slice up against Urshfu, but this is like a precautionary thing just in case Leaf Storm doesn't KO, which I honestly don't think it will. But Quick Claw? Bruh. I really just got Quick Claw. And then the survive on like negative 6 HP. Buffets will KO you, I think. Brick Break gonna fly here and actually do some damage to me. And Dazzling Gleam, can we survive this? Oh, you're just sticking with Dazzling Gleam instead of like Drake Meteor. This works better for us. We're able to survive here. Sandstorm subsides. So everything is not working in my favor. Not a single thing. I mean, we have to go for Giga Drain to get back HP. I mean, I could go for the KO for you, but maybe get a crit and get HP back. Yeah, no, it's, it's over. It's over. But this is what I was hoping. I was hoping we could KO you with Leaf Storm, get back HP like that, and then survive this Brick Break. We're not even surviving Brick Break for this. But, dude, everything just not working in our favor in match number three. Honestly, we played that one. We probably should have had a win, but we ended up losing due to RNG. Honestly, I love this team. Even though we grabbed ourselves a losing record today, this team was so much fun to use. You had the Calyrex and Ndidi part of the meta part of the team, but the rest was so off meta. Sylveon, Hydrapple, Swampert, Skelly Dirge, we used all of them in today's video and they all did really well. So happy with how the content turned out today. But guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.